And I will always love you. I... She definitely hates me, but we love you, Dolly. Howdy! My name's Tanner Saunders, and I'm the hotel's reporter at the Point Sky. I'm at home in Brooklyn right now because I'm packing. So I'm about to head to the airport for a very, very, very special trip. I'm heading to Knoxville, Tennessee, and then driving up to Pigeon Forge to visit Dollywood and stay in a $10,000 experience that puts you right in the middle of the action in Dolly Parton's tour bus. Literally, you can't go anywhere without just like finding all these pictures of Dolly. There's little dollies everywhere, and then there's some big dollies, and it's, it's just really incredible. There are butterflies literally everywhere. If that's not the spirit of Dolly Parton, then I don't know what is. Right now I'm in a standard room at the resort and it is awesome, but I'm gonna be checking in to Dolly Parton's tour bus. You see for $10,000, you too can spend two nights at Dolly Parton's tour bus. I'm a really, really, really big Dolly Parton fan. And so I'm like actually really kind of freaking out about this. See, my connections to Dolly actually run pretty deep. I grew up coming to Dollywood. I came here with my family a lot during summers. I also was like so inspired by country music growing up that I actually ended up studying music and like Dolly, I moved to Nashville, I actually got a degree in songwriting, which who even know you could get a degree in songwriting. But anyway, I just, I love country music so much. I ended up working at the Grand Ole Opry, getting to run into celebrities and stars backstage. There's one dressing room that is especially interesting because it's dedicated to Porter Wagner, who helped build Dolly's career, it was like kind of the foundation with the Porter Wagner show. But then eventually Dolly broke off on her own, which is why she wrote I Will Always Love You, to become this mega star that owns a resort, that owns a theme park. And tomorrow we're going to have a little bit of a taste. We're gonna to try to get into her skin or under her wig about what it's like to be Dolly Parton when you're on the road. Um, but first, one crazy way that you can really see just how humble Dolly's roots are is here at Dollywood, you can take a tour. Um, you can actually go inside a replica of her house. This sign here says that that actual house is still at Locust Ridge here in Tennessee, but let's take a little look. So you can see just, you know, how they lived. It was, it was simple and it was, it was rough. This is all they had. It was two rooms. It's just, it's so different than the bus, but you know, it's like exactly where everything started. On the replica of this porch, it's like kind of crazy to think that Dolly might be out here singing, you know, writing her songs. She started writing when she was so little, putting on shows for her family here on a porch that looked just like this. So it's about 7.30. I just woke up and got ready. Today is the day that we are checking into the Dolly Parton tour bus. I basically could not sleep at all last night for a lot of reasons. One, I had a continuous stream of Dolly songs running through my head just all night. It was like I was living in a musical. I also watched 9 to 5 on the way to Tennessee yesterday on the plane. So those scenes were just in and out of my head all night. But also, I found out that Dolly is actually here on the resort because she's been filming a movie, which is crazy. So sleeping in this building in the actual hotel, knowing that Dolly is also like on the property was just the most incredible feeling. I mean, So one of the really cool things about the tour bus experience is that yes, it is $10,000 and I know that is a lot of money, 
but some of that money actually goes back to Dolly Parton's foundation, Imagination Library, which gives books to kids in different countries in the world for free, which is just amazing. Like, she, she literally can do no wrong. It's, she's an angel on this planet that we have. It's wild. So tonight, that's my house. That's where I'm gonna be sleeping. I'm gonna be sleeping right there, next to all this beautiful greenery with the resort behind me. But it's kind of crazy, right? Like, that's gonna be my room. Like, I am just gonna be kind of out here. But I guess that would be what it's like for Dolly, right? Like, she's just like sleeping in this bus, just parked wherever it's parked, but I'm so excited. Okay, guys, it is the moment I've been waiting for, the reason I flew out here to Pigeon Forge, I'm stepping onto the bus. It is massive. Oh my God. Like, what is this? This is absolutely insane. So first impressions, it is so, so, so much bigger than I thought. I mean, look, it keeps going. We've got this whole front space. So we got like a living room area. We've got a kitchen. Everything is so cool in the front, but just this view back to the bedroom is absolutely wild. This is Dolly Parton's bed. Like, from 2008 until 2022, this right here, this is where Dolly slept. This is where Dolly Parton slept and this is where I'm gonna be sleeping for the next two nights. Like, how? Look, look at these pillows. Aren't they exactly what you'd expect from Dolly? Like, 100%. There is so much to take in on this bus. Like, it was, fully customized by Dolly, for Dolly, because this was her home away from home. Like, this is where she lived when she was on the road. Obviously, there are a lot of touches like you'd expect, like there are fresh flowers, lots of like sequined and pretty pillows, but there's also all of this just like really cool art. Dolly called this her gypsy wagon because she was always on the road. So she had her friend who was an artist actually draw them. It's just like really fun. There's so many little touches. It's it's wild. All throughout the bus there are these relics and these pieces of memorabilia like this guitar that Dolly used in the Heartstrings TV show. I mean look at all the sequins. How fun it is. I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless and I'm never speechless. So moving my way back towards the bus this like middle area is where the bunk beds are. There's like the main living area behind me, Dolly's private area back behind me. So this is where people would sleep when they were traveling with Dolly. It's not a ton of space, but like I could sleep up there. So if I was traveling with Dolly, then this would be my bedroom. But what's crazy about the way they've changed it for this experience is that if you look right here behind me, you would be sleeping basically in Dolly's closet. Her jewelry, the Louboutins. I don't know, I think this one would look pretty good on me. Um, I think it's my color. This is Dolly's private bathroom. It is tiny, it is tiny. Let me see if I can get the door to close behind me so you can see. Oh, there we go. Whoa, there are mirrors everywhere. This is like, I feel like I'm in a fun house. Back here behind me, you've got the actual like bathroom part with the toilet. There's also this toilet paper. Look, it has this sweet 1986 logo on it. It's just so pretty. Behind me here, right here, is the shower. But Dolly also wanted there to be a bathtub. Now, you're probably wondering, how do you put a bathtub on a tour bus that is so small, like, I mean, it's a big tour bus, but you, you can't fit like a full-size bathtub in here. That would've been probably a little wild, but check it out. Maybe the world's tiniest bathtub? I'm not sure how she took a bath in here, but trust me, I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
this is about as much as I fit. But I guess I can honestly say I never ever in my life thought that for work, I would be wearing a swimsuit in Dolly Parton's bathtub on a tour bus. Here I am and I'm not mad about it. So one fun thing about the suite, these hats, and Dolly's wigs, like these are her real hats and her real wigs. And the staff here encourages guests to figure out which hat came from where, if it's from a movie or a music video. She also had them build in here a refrigerator so she could have her snacks. She's got a freezer. She even has her own little bedside microwave. I brought some popcorn actually because on the bed, there's this TV back here. And so I figured tonight I might have like a little Dolly Parton movie party um, here in Dolly Parton's actual bed. Okay, I'm kind of having a little bit of a panic attack because I can't get this one to open. Um, but that's okay because there are a lot of buttons in this place. So we're gonna figure it out. Oh, okay, there's one. But that is not the door I want to open. I want the other door to open. Okay, I wonder if Dolly's ever gotten stuck in here. <laughs> I'm dying because this is the best, funniest place I've ever got trapped somewhere in my life. Like, I'm literally trapped in Dolly Parton's <laughs> I'm still stuck. Okay, so maybe like a wire shorted out? We're not sure, but I mean, now I just get more time to hang out in here. I've got a Dolly Parton record to listen to. I've got a new copy of Dolly's book. And I have this mirror to just like sit and contemplate how amazing my life and how amazing her life is. I really think I'm just gonna live here forever now and I couldn't ask for anything more. I really couldn't ask for anything more. So one of the things if you book this experience is that you get to have an incredible multi-course meal. Tonight we're having seven courses. They come, they set everything up here right in front of the bus. They cook for you right there and then you come back inside and you get to have a taste of everything. I'm so hungry. We have not eaten today because we were expecting so much food. This is probably going to be the best part. We're ready. I have a friend here, Colby. I'm not eating this like immaculate dinner by myself. Cheers. To Dolly. To Dolly. To Dolly. We have these flowers here, but also basically every dish we've had also has edible flowers. They're pretty good, right? I don't think this one was edible. Oh, that one doesn't look edible. <laughs> If you do this, you're gonna eat good. Everything's gonna be amazing, but also it's a lot in the best way. So the Dolly Parton Suite 1986 experience is a $10,000 trip here to Dollywood that you can book to spend two nights in Dolly Parton's actual tour bus. $10,000 is a lot of money, I get that, but with that $10,000 you get a lot of experience. Two nights on the bus, plus two nights in the resort and actual hotel rooms. If you don't want to use a tour bus shower, if you need like a big bathtub, that's all inside the hotel. You also get access to all the hotel amenities. You get to go to the pool, you can use the gym, there's a spa here on site which is all incredible. You also get a rope that you get to take home. There are gifts hidden all throughout the bus. Breakfast for two each morning in Song and Hearth, the buffet here at the resort, which is also incredible. You also get that multi-course dinner from Dolly's private chef. Trust me, it was one of the best meals I've ever had in my whole life. You just get to be on Dolly's bus. Like, I don't know how else to say it. Like, being here, getting to feel like what it was for her being on the road. It's truly just one of the most magical experiences you can ever have. And while we were invited as guests of the resort, 
We at the Point Sky will also be making a donation to Imagination Library um, as a thank you and to help that program which is really impacting the lives of kids. And Dolly, thank you so much for having me and sharing your space. This is just beyond words.